Welcome back to Tip of the Hats 2016. My name is Mr. Slint, and I got the three the three J's on the couch with me: Josh, Justin, and James. And we are going to do the uh, NA versus EU 6v6 show match for you guys. So really looking forward to bringing you that. We're looking at the donation incentives for it, and NA has beaten EU for the donation incentive. So 5,800 wow. to 4,700. So we'll be playing on a North American server. I'm just going to say that that's because they're all asleep. All the Europeans are just about to wake up. Hey, man, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> 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 they were robbed. They were robbed. But to be fair, I think you'll agree with me, Admiral, that the North Americans need the ping advantage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there was definitely a little bit of a back and forth there in the incentive. And I was tweeting out, let's go EU. And then there just seemed to be this big... Uh, heart swell of support for North America, some real big donations. I think maybe EU had more people putting the money in, but just the fat cats in North America came up trumps there. And now uh, it is definitely for the good, judging by these teams. Like I was asked to put together the EU team, and I kind of went a little bit ham. We, we got some <laughs> gods representing e EU. And, uh, so you're responsible yeah, for what's about to happen. I, I take full credit. You can say guys. that North America trumped EU in that sense. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Well, we're going to head into a show match for you guys. Uh, really excited about it, actually. But EU looks like they have a slightly stronger team, I guess, maybe due to the... Uh, the way that the players worked out, showing up to the uh, the time zones and all of, and people at work. So yeah, for, yeah. I mean, for, uh, they've also got some like real star talents on both teams, but uh, just fresh out of I fifty eight, most of this team uh, that the Europeans have did incredibly well well at that event, and uh, you know we've got some of the guys here playing on the North American team and they're we a bit do. rusty. They haven't played in a while, so then. Yeah, we got, we got some good players in there as well, but I'm not, not taking away from these guys. <laughs> <laughs> not, you know, we still have uh, we still have Tag over there. He's been playing for a while. He's got to be pretty yeah, warm. Yeah. Well, he was spawn camping in the pub. Yeah, he's so. going crazy <laughs> in the pub, yeah, yeah. so if that's any indication. That's right. He's been practicing his cow mangler, so that'll be good. I and then we also have Mela over there as well, so uh, he's he's fresh off of his second place victory and in, in invite, so. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. He'll be ready. He's uh, back to a game that he's actually good at. Yeah, so. an, an abundance of roamers, as was previously yeah. mentioned, over on the North American team. But it's weird because the tables have sort of turned from last year where we had the Americans coming off of the I-Series victory. Back-to-back uh, -back I-Series? Yeah, oh and I was God. giving you flack for that. So you might have your revenge here <laughs> with the way the Europeans are going to shape up this year. I feel like it's almost going to be too easy. Like I think we're kind of thankful, Sideshow, that we do have this NA server oh, yeah. handicap just to make the victory a little bit sweeter. Yeah, it's going to be delightful. Well, we just want to thank you guys again for, for showing up to Tip of the Hats 2016. I mean, this has been an awesome event so far. You guys have raised a ton of money in such a short amount of time. And we still have three days <laughs> of events to go. So I uh, just want to thank you guys all for your support thus far. It's been amazing. And uh, yeah, we're going to head into the server soon. Just about now. Momentarily. <laughs> and uh, up. I just want to let you guys know that later on today, we, we have a, a couple other events we're raising uh, where the donation centers for that. We have 1v1 MGE with no chairs, and that's uh, $6,000 towards the $10,000 there. And then uh, we also have a Sideshow GoPro event, which that'll be, that'll be exciting. That's 4,200 out of 10,000 I'm excited well. for that. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited to see how that works. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, think I, that's I'm very what curious. I'm mostly excited about. <laughs> <laughs> I might end up falling all over the place, just tripping over cables, wrapping myself up, and recording the whole <laughs> the whole messy... Now, you'll be playing with the GoPro strap, too. Yeah, that's the idea, yeah, that the whole thing will just be from my point of... It'll be like living as me for a day. <laughs> oh, not for a day. Yeah. We're not going to have the whole day. <laughs> uh, not, yeah, that's a stretch goal, so definitely get in on the donations with that. That's cash donations only, I believe. That's uh, yeah, I monetary think is, donation. Yeah. So uh, if we get the 10000 for that, um, that will be certainly something that will be interesting to see, mm -hmm. um, if not just to see what the logistics are. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I believe we do have everyone in the server ads, and... I don't think we're live. Yeah, they're just dancing around. No, Fe getting a feel for it. For this North American team, the fact that they got so many roamers, does that just mean that they're all just going to feed in the whole time? <laughs> you know, they're all just going to be trying to make so much space for themselves that there'll be nobody to actually do the work for the team. They'll all just be jumping in, I think. Uh oh, we're going live here, guys. It's getting underway here. Map one of this EU versus NA show match here at Tip of the Hats 2016. A real quick EU roster rundown. We've got the Lash and Happy on Scout, uh, Raymond playing Medic, Mike. And the captain on Soldier and Dr. Phil on demo here. But it's the Mela Cam is going to middle number one. No tag on the Cow Mangler. And he is just uh, spamming off these long range rockets. The new whitelist, of course, in effect here. We have unified the continents. Who's going to come out on top here, Sideshow? Uh, definitely captain at the moment up top, spamming damage down into everybody. Paddy's only on five health as well, but the crits is going to come in as well. Dr. Pill here 
surely going to be able to get that crit squeak. He's coming up to choke as well. N not with his stickies out. He thinks he's going to get some crit pipes coming in. Oh, he's been destroyed by Paddy, actually. Getting in there, what big stuff? Oh, I, I'm an idiot actually. The uh, the Chris Creek was for Froyo Tech, wasn't it? Yeah, for, it was for the North American Froyo Patty, and the scouts went huge there. So, um, what roamers? It's all about the scouts here for the North Americans in blue here. Free State trying to finish off that soldier. Actually finds a scout a and takes him down. Now he's versus both soldiers here with 28 HP. Can he get it done? He takes wow. down another. Uh, just getting uh, victory kills uh, there as Benny on that demo man. It's on his way to mid, but he's gonna find Admirable a bombing soldier in on him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just Mike. noticed we have like three Froyo members in the North American team and then an ex Froyo member as well in tag. So yeah. that's like a lot of this Froyo. This should be players. an all star team, really, shouldn't it? I mean, Paddy, Free State, Banny, and then you got uh, uh, Banny back on his old class as well. Yeah. yeah. You haven't seen him yeah. play demo in a while, have you? Hype Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> He's back in the house. They're probably going to finish at least third, uh, judging by that then. So, <laughs> as well here. We've got a little bit of. Uh, Dr. Phil action here, he's getting rushed down through Choke, spamming out those stick. He's trying to set up frags for his teammates and it's free state. He's going to take the bait. He was feeling himself. Perhaps off the ping advantage here. Got to bring it out, guys. But uh, Paddy looking to get that pick there, but Happy Kill and Talash both down. He's just trying to buy a little bit of time here to get their own charge up. But the crits threat is real right now for North America. They almost have it as Mike ends up getting vaporized by Tag there. We're on the Banny cam. He's got that Iron Bomber, but does get gunned down. The crit's still available here for Ninja Nick, but EU are just dropping like flies. Maybe playing a little bit too scared of it, Saito. Pretty interesting to see that Bunny's not using the Lock and Load as well. I thought that would be kind of uh, a really heavily favored item for a lot of the demos. You know, people were scared of it coming into it. Seems really powerful, but here comes the crits as well. It's been popped off. Uber replied as well. Dr. Phil and Raymond. Can they find anybody? It's a soldier bombing around that they're currently trying to chase down through Choke. As Happy Cool, is he going to be able to get there? Yeah, tag and free state down here. So Europeans should have an opportunity to get in through the choke. If, uh, if Mike can open things up, maybe Phil going in for a bomb as well. Yeah, he's taking this one aggressive. He's getting positioning uh, with that jump off to the top of the roof there. Uh, it looked like a clean fight going. Looked like the North Americans were going to be able to exchange that Kritzkrieg advantage. But those two late kills came in from the Europeans here. And as you can see, they have recapped once again. 75% just about on the Kritzkrieg for the North Americans here. And you can see the Uber is trailing behind for the Europeans. So if the Froyo slash NA All-Stars uh, get this going, they will have an opportunity we haven't seen a bandy crit yet. Yeah, we haven't seen it, and that is something that is certainly lethal. Here it is, actually, Ooh. as the one shot comes in, not connecting with anybody. And it's going to be Mela who gets the first North American kill as Bandy continuing to look for frags. As oh, I thought that was going to get That last crit sticky was dangerously close to getting a frag, but EU just uh, doing the ninja vanish here and now. Recomposing themselves, getting ready to make a push of their own remon with this full charge. Actually popped off here to save Captain, who was down under 100 health there. Tries to jump forward, gets stunned in the air, and the Uber really achieves very little. Tag gets isolated there in Sewer, and that one-man advantage might be enough to begin to snowball, but Happy Kill's taking a lot of early damage here. Banny's surely screaming out, Happy's weak in the corner, but nobody from NA is going to step forward to end his life, and the arrow comes in to get him back to full health. He goes down anyway in the end up, and again, EU just find themselves giving away these easy picks, and. Uh, the ball is firmly back here in the court of North America, Sergio. Uh, there's a bomb in, actually. Trying to get onto Ninja. Nick manages to get him down. Captain with the original. I'm sure he doesn't normally play with the original, but it's the North American server. You have to embody the North Americans. <laughs> he's getting in on that original. Uh, whereas I think he's a little bit behind the trend because Tag is going with the cow mangler now. He's, set the, he's a trend setter, not a trend follower, you know. Extremely back and forth between these two teams, but look at that. Two frags will come in for the North Americans, buying them even more space, making a third for Free State here as he pushes up. Looks like he's going to sneak into the sewer area, go in for a flank here. We'll take a look, see if he is able to get it on that soldier, putting in some good damage. It's going to allow his team to come in off the back of that, and that is going to force the European Uber to come out, and they're actually going to collect two frags as well. So this will halt the NA push. Still a scout in the back. Captain looking for that kill. Will he get it? Surely this scout is in a sea of enemies, and somehow Tag gets a frag in the backfield. Uh, but that, yeah, that will stop the North American push. They're going to have to recontrol middle uh, and wait for the next opportunity. I want to see an amazing Cow Mangler charge shot, air shot from <laughs> Tag. Is that even possible? Uh, yeah, it is possible. Uh, I think I, I tried for hours before when the Cow Mangler was first unbanned in Europe, and I think I managed to get one in a pug once. So if he can pull it out, it would just be fantastic. 
he can pull that out, I will pull out a crisp 50 from my wallet. <laughs> if I can make that happen. Hold we'll you to that. Stakes on are on stream. the table. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, currently four on four here as North America. Back in control, moving through, tag jumping forward with that cow mang. They're trying to set up the pick onto the Skype. He's going to escape there. Uh, Dr. Phil just getting back on the field. It uh, means that there's no real sticky spam here. North America able to move forward, but the high ground spam from Captain is enough to claim that pick onto Paddy. Boober's being caught, popped off here on both sides, but EU just gingerly moving in through the choke here. Happy Cole on the high ground. There's a lot of uh, back and forth, one two play here. Mikey up top working with Happy. Now Captain jumping in as well. They're really trying to bamboozle these North Americans, oh, oh. but they're holding strong, huge bomb forward there for Milo to pick up those two frags. There was just no follow-up available from Europe, and Milo will collect. Three at the end there. Half the whole team taken down by Mela. The ping advantage, that's what it is, admirable. You know, the, <laughs> the European, oh, come on. they normally have the better soldiers, but <laughs> they just can't, they can't play with this ridiculous ping. Where were the European donations? <laughs> they've, they've thrown the game before it began. I'm hearing a bunch of excuses here, Josh. <laughs> Unacceptable. Well, the North Americans have finally taken control of the second point. I believe that's the first time. We are still in round one. It's been very even so far but the north americans do control the second cap and they're about to have their uber as well you can take a look over on the red team the uber is nowhere near being built so this should be a clean push coming in from na here it looks like they want to go on the right side they're going to start it off with banny getting a pick onto the lash that is going to be huge as they move in here take a look at mela he's going to try to stuff him in spawn a little bit of the tag special and there is no one out on this point somehow captain does grab a kill here and he's able to contest the point no frags, there they are in mass, in wave from the North Americans. And finally, through a battle of attrition, they are able to take the first round. And hopefully, um, I know we're all rooting for that to be uh, uh, more to come. I'm just gonna say, I never doubted North America for a second. <laughs> never. They, they, the whole time, they were just the best team. Absolutely. Well, we'll see if the Europeans can reply fairly quickly. We've seen some, uh, you know, the game has been getting Rounds drawn out longer and longer over the course of TF2's history. But we'll see whether they can try and reply with some kind of a lightning fast round. I was just thinking of like the arcs and beta speed rounds that they used to cast. Those guys would run out of breath very quickly if they tried to do a <laughs> speed cast of games today. Eight minutes on that first round as we come to middle number two though. It's uh, all on the tag cam, but meanwhile Mila has gone down there, cleaned up by Mike in the back lanes and uh, just off the back of that, North America, they're smart, they're going to retreat here, they're already two down, Banny's gone down, no demo spam available, but you're just kind of chilling, they need to cap middle for starters, but uh, they've got the lash in deep here, looking for an arrow from Raymond, Mike jumps forward to create some space, and uh, he's, he's running out of ammo. Here. If he had been running the cow mangler, that wouldn't have happened there. You know, he would have heard loadout decisions from Michael Adams. You know, off the back of what you were saying, Sideshow, before the Europeans even capped middle, they made sure they had players up on the second point uh, to prevent the North, American, North Americans from mustering a hold there, uh, making sure that they were able to take this round maybe possibly a bit quicker. We're going to have the reply from Tagaron taking down Thalash, so that surely will halt the Europeans. Both Ubers are up. I mean, that's such a European thing to do, to just, like, sacrifice themselves into last for no reason. What is he's gonna, doing? He's going to come back up on Sniper, and we're going to see an incredibly epic Sniper v. Sniper view. What is Paddy? Oh. <laughs> he's he served away there on one Living HP. the dream. Went out for, I don't know what, but he does go down oh, in the Mike's, end. Mike's going in as well. If Mike can get in onto Ninja Nick, he may have an opportunity. They're just going for it here as well. They're trying to push in. Both teams have the Uber at the moment, and Nick's gone down! What a headshot from Thalash! I have no idea how it came in or how he got that angle, but he gave him the room, and that's what happens. So now the Uber coming in, and surely this is all she wrote. Crown's captain. Crown's very young captain here, slamming damage into people, but somehow they're falling! Are they really going to be able to hold this one? It's all on Dr. Phil. And they've thrown it. They've thrown it. That was that was a terrible throw. Classic. You throw pushing process last. I mean, the distraction play from the soldiers to set up that pick from Thalash was so good. Oh. They even fooled our cameraman. And the thing is, the North American team feeling so bad for the Europeans being, you know, down around. They they tried to let them in, but yeah, Ninja Nick just stepped into a headshot. It's like, all right, guys, we'll let you even it out. Yeah, this is for charity, you know. We're for trying to get yeah, exactly. a good a good match going, but no, the strong DM from the North Americans means they will hold, even though they did not have their medic or the Uber, and they are on their way to middle, getting on their high horses, as a friend of mine used to say. But well, he is not here to say it. <laughs> on their back foot, the Europeans have lost middle. 
and they are down in uber advantage as well admirable so with the crits creek in the hands of the north americans um, we could see another banny crits and hopefully this time it works out for them are they expecting it right now that is the question banny moving towards the left hand side he doesn't want to show himself just yet he wants the the first sight they see to be a crit sticky flying towards it. first one goes in deep but Ooh. it's actually the sniper from the last that it takes out ninja next to so the crits has been nullified for now but Raymond is going to pop off to save himself. Three players down for Europe right now, but it's the same on the North American side. The scramble is uh, slowly working its way forward there. Mikey going to clean up tag, looking for the pick onto Bani as well, and it seems like NA's fate has been sealed for this engagement at least. I mean, I'm telling you, Nick is trying his hardest to let Europe back into this match. He just keeps walking into the last sniper line. He's such a nice guy. Yeah, he's such a great dude. Paddy going in, trading with Captain there. Doesn't really affect the larger picture which is that the Europeans are taking control of mid, but they're still 1-0 down. And at the moment, it looks like whenever they get an opportunity to uh, capitalize on the round, they are unable to wrap it up. But the uh, Uber is going to be up at about the same time as the crits here. I'm just looking because Nick switched over to crits just then, and he might just overtake them as he gets into the later stages. But Raymond's almost there, so I don't think he'll have an opportunity to put it on Banny, and Banny really hasn't delivered with any of these so far, but it doesn't matter because they're just man-moding them in the fights. Free State goes in, gets a 2k, Banny now trying to uh, spam out that Uber charge, which does get forced, but the counter hasn't come, and surely this is the crits. You can't pop it on tag, though, he's got them. <laughs> <He's got them. laughs> he gets Raymond anyway. Yeah, and I, they might not need to use the crits here. All the kills coming from the Froyo scouts. Talk about delivering. And the scouts from North America aren't getting it done here. Banny trying to finish off this demo man. Puts one pipe into him, and his scouts will be there to support him and pick him down with the pistol. Still holding on to that crits creek is Ninja Nick. So we'll see if he decides or elects to walk into any more um, European spam if he is feeling bad for them. But <laughs> Europeans may be feeling bad for themselves. Like we mentioned, we, they are down one round, and they are definitely on their back foot. The Critch Creek does come in, but no one in sight. So Banny's going to be forced to just try to get some spam in through the doorways. Again, no targets to take down, but that will be a take of the second point from NA. Did you see those jukes from Raymond? He was out there. Yeah, like, that was amazing. In uh, Banny's lane of sight. Fake to go down to the roller door, but then just ducked back in to roll out there. Survives and uh, now has himself an uber advantage. He's not close to getting it just yet, but there's the lash on the scope again. Look at that angle left up towards the stairs there in the lobby, but now it decides it's time to switch off the scout because Europe are getting ready to push. They know they're around down here. 16 minutes, 30 left on the clock. Seen a lot of gold weapons too in the hands of some of these players. I want to remind everybody that if you don't have the monetary means to donate um, to this event, you can donate via items like the Australium. And they will get converted straight to cash, which goes straight into the hands of One Step Cam. Um, so a great opportunity for you there, as a great opportunity for the North Americans, but they throw it away. They did. They got absolutely crushed as they came in through that choke area. Dr. Phil on a mad one, throwing stickies in, left, right, left, right, slamming people in that choke. And everybody apart from Mela has already fallen. And he's miles away. Look how far Mela is. You can see him there with the wall hacks. The players obviously don't have them. <laughs> that would have been a good donation. Not all, not all. Yeah, that would have been. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching Mela right now. He's just he's just sitting there. He's just having a grand old time sitting in sewers. He's actually just, just hanging out. He's he's, he's, <laughs> he's gotten out of his chair. He's walking yeah. around. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have the Uber up for Raymond in the hands of the Europeans here, getting ready to make a move. Of course, they have a huge advantage, so we'll see what they are able to do. The Lex come through the bottom of IT, trying to get on players, but Bandy's gonna have to jukes and escape out of there, along with the rest of his teammates. So no kills coming from the Europeans. There we go, finally, they do take down Mela, or Mabla, as I like to call him, because a three is definitely a B in lead speak, and that's all I speak, so. Um, continuing to move forward here, the Europeans do take down, or do take control of that second point. And finally, they will have another opportunity to push last, but Will they be able to do it? Mm, that last Euro push wasn't great, and they had Uber advantage then. This time, uh, they are nowhere close to getting that charge up. This Probably. is exactly where they love to be, though, Admirable. They love to be on second with an Uber disadvantage. <laughs> and just <laughs> them into a push, yeah. <laughs> Look at this map. Look how much damage tag's taken already. He's surely going to fall. Uh, it's actually That's a bait. That's a reverse bait. The reverse bait. The triple bait. Uh-oh. But they're all going to last. Mike's already there. And they are going <laughs> to get that back. Get this out of my sight. 
That's yeah. all you have to do. That's such a European thing to do. I mean, they're, they're basically cheating. Like, I can't <laughs> even believe the that. It's such yeah. a European thing How, to why do. Why would you oh even play God. the objective? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think there was a coach standing behind him telling him. <laughs> Guy that's over there. Unfair advantage. <laughs> Whoa, the rare sight of Dr. Phil not whipping his rollout on process. <laughs> Manages to hit the rump slide, coming forward here, but getting slammed by stickies to the face from Banny. That, that ping advantage is just too strong here again. Mike's down at Oh, he would have hit that. That looked like oh. it could have hit, but Mayla's in and takes down Raymond and Tag. Oh, Ooh, that was a nice shot by Captain as well. Just dismisses Tag as he goes in there for the bomb. And there's only three players left alive from Froyo. Banny falls as well, and it's just Nick being shepherded out here by. Uh, Froyo takes on Paddy, who's being harassed on the back by Happy Cool. Oh, Take man. it down in two crisp shots, though. Great stuff from Paddy. The Europeans really rallying behind those EU gimmicks. Once they once they do it one yeah. time, then they're all jazzed up and ready to yeah, go. Yeah, they feel good about themselves. As you can see in that last push, and continuing along, they're still uh, able to find Frax, so definitely halting the NA's ability. Or are they? As Paddy has something to say about that, he's going to take down one, take down two. Now he's on the hunt for this soldier here, along with his teammate, his scout partner, and together, Free State and Paddy will be able to take him down. And I was going to say that that kill from EU was going to halt the NA push, but the scouts from North America getting it done off the back of that. They've been able to recap second. They are on their way to middle. Surely they will get that as well. And the Uber still in NA's control. Oh my the gosh, more EU gimmicks. gimmicks. Oh more EU goodness. gimmicks. We go, Let's go, Dalash. I can't even believe this right Let, now. Uh, is there even a oh, go? Oh, oh, man, I can't do it. <laughs> it's an easy 2-1. I mean, the oh. Europeans aren't even playing fair right <laughs> so now. So like, simple. What is this? What good Maybe. is a ping advantage <laughs> if you're not going to take an engagement? He's just running around. You don't need a ping advantage Learn for that. Learn to play the game, I can't guys. believe this is happening. Like, I can't even Watch your it. flank <laughs> once in a while, maybe. This it is was... such a European thing to do, you know? Just playing objectives. Like, who does that? And so, uh, yeah, this is basic. This is TF2 101. Apparently, they don't teach that in North America. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we'll see what happens here. North America still can still come back into this match. Only down one round. Just had a $100 donation. Um, so thank you. I believe his name was Chris. Came up there on the feed there. Thanks, Chris. Um, oh, there's another one. 101 from Umpika. We've got an arms race here. 102 yeah. coming up. We're having fun casting here, but of course, we want to remind you guys to keep the donations coming. Uh, it's for a great cause. You're all benefiting one step camp. So you guys have done an amazing, amazing job of supporting us so far in the first couple hours of this event. And uh, oh my goodness, look who's getting the support over there now in the game. Free State picking up a couple kills and tag there with the cow mangler still zapping people. Raymond has survived though, and he has that Uber, so they should be able to hold last as long as they don't get pressure too hard. Tag spamming stuff in. You got to watch out for the big charge shot as well. With the uh, secondary fire, you launch in a projectile that can actually kill a medic if they get the afterburn as well. But oh, Mail has gone down, his soldier partner, and maybe that's going to prompt them to take a more aggressive position. I think, uh, you know, there's not too much on the line here apart from pride, so they're definitely going to try and make more plays than they would in a super high uh, tense situation. You know, if this was the R58 Grand Finals, maybe they wouldn't <laughs> go for the push. They certainly had didn't go for the pushes, but... Thalash is seeking the glory now. He wants to get an ankle shot. His ninja Nick got uh, some ankles to show us. Well, so far he's been lights out on Sniper, getting it done when he needs to, taking uh, down ninja Nick as we saw before. Of course, that last pick as well. Ubers are uh -oh. even. We do have Free State with the Machinima? Mach Machina? Machina. Machina? Machina. I don't know how to speak or what that weapon is, but he's got it. It's in his hands, and he's walking with it, taking the charge for a walk might find himself walking into Thalash's scopes though, so he needs to be careful here, but it is on NA to get that opening pick because they are down one round. They need to level it out here. Yeah, they got time to do it though. This is a team, I believe in them, I believe in North America. They have the ping advantage. That's what we paid for. <laughs> and uh, we'll see if they can actually make something happen here. The counter sniping, Thalash is so low, down to 18. Phil picks up the frag though. Yeah, and free stage, just poking himself in and He's not wanted there. Phil makes sure that he feels it. Captain almost going down as well, though. They're seeing if they can get in a position where they can use the Uber out, or maybe turn a pick into a second pick, but uh, the there we going go. down. That's going to, that's actually going to give the North American team an opportunity to push or send a sack in or send Mailer in something. He's looking like he wants to prod in, see if he can get onto Raymond. No, not quite. 
Yeah, the Ubers have actually been traded in the lobby area here. It's a far better one for North America as they come in. Mailer's leading this one along with the scout. They're going to take control of this right-hand side. Haffy's already gone down. A soldier on the top right, though, and that's Mike who wins the engagement. But Phil has been sniped. Banny picks up Mike as well, and surely they're not going to be able to hold on to this one. Pag pounding damage in with oh. the cow mangler here. Just reloading Charge desperately. It. Charge oh, the there. short tag. Charge it. Yes! That's, that's, that's what I'm talking two. about. That's what I'm talking about. NA, let's go. Yeah. And see, nice. NA got it done there by taking a fight and winning the fight, as opposed to taking the, uh, <laughs> the, the cowardly way, exactly. the cowardly way out. <laughs> exactly. Taking the fight around. to the Europeans directly to their faces. Shaking my head. I mean, it all started off that uh, just some nice crisp rockets from Mabla to pop out the Uber there from Raymond onto Captain. And after that, things just seemed to snowball. So nice aggression there from NA, just pushing off the damage. Here we go, though, onto middle, number five. Still eight minutes and 45 seconds left on the clock. It's anyone's game here. And Tag is trying to land some of these orbital strikes here from his cow mangler, but just not connecting the shots. The pieces are in position, though. And it's going to be Mikey A going down first free state, collecting that frag. And hungry for more Banny. Long distance spam there onto Dr. Phil with that iron bomber. But Free State finds another one, and EU haven't got an answer to these problems here on nah. middle. They're going to back off with three down. And they're turning on the jump jets here, keeping it going. Let's go. The Lash going down, too. That's four dead. And North America can close this out. Can they get this round on the board here? Mill is going to try and see if he can shove it in from the left. They, they have the Uber and they have two picks, so this should be their opportunity to try and get something done. But they're playing it so tentatively. Are they worried about a sniper or a sticky trap, perhaps? Or maybe they just want all of their players there and a, a plan some kind of effective strategy of how to crack this last defense rather than running it, winging it. Yeah. One thing they're definitely not worried about is EU gimmicks, though. No, There's no opportunity for that here. They, they can run Natasha on defense or the Rescue Ranger. <laughs> can they now? Yeah, so oh, many. Oh, that's true. No unlocks uh, yeah. are banned in this in this game set. Well, they do have Thalash on Sniper on defense, and that was very effective, taking down, taking down two, I believe. So do you see EU now with room to push out, and Thalash going to switch over to Scout and take down another put his team back on control and have control of that Spire. Looks like we have an NA scout. That was Patty trying to come in, delay the team maybe, get some spawns for his teammates, but... I think uh, he was lost. Uh, he was lost? Yeah, he just came in there and he was like, oh, the rest of my team actually don't appear to be here. His GPS bugged out on him. Um, See, a European scout would have just gone for the back but instead Patty goes and feeds, you know? Yeah, just, that's true. Just that's for true. some uh, machismo there, I don't know, but... Right now, just giving the EU a little bit more of an advantage. The momentum starting to swing their way as they look to make it Three to two here. They are a significant uber advantage. Remo and only 25% away from getting that charge. Buffing up his team right now around Choke. And it looks like they're going to be leading in here with uh, Captain. Mike taking a peek there on the flank. Captain jumps forward to see what exactly is happening. He's getting the end for his team. He's taking so much damage though. That is definitely going to shut the push down for now. Abated with ease. No, there's definitely one guy who's not going to let Europeans win. That's Banny because the Lash is on the other team. <laughs> and Banny definitely does not want to lose to the Lash right here. That's true. It's already happened once in the last two weeks. Oh, so. oh, oh, <laughs> I was going to gonna say, of course, it has just happened. So a <laughs> bit of a grudge for Banny here, making sure he doesn't lose two um, NAVEU confrontations on within server. one month. Yeah, within the North American server, too. And as we can see by the scoreline, two to two, NA needs all the help they can get. Um, but perhaps the only help they do need is a map of the map so they know what flanks to watch so they don't get <laughs> bat capped continually just some wall hacks would help perhaps like yeah. a 2d radar if anyone's got one of those you could just give it to like uh probably tag i'm about to go over to the uh, players desk over here oh, and start whispering secrets that? to them because na needs to win this out but yeah we do have two frags for na the lash just comes in takes down banny but uh, the better of it going for north america here as again they are looking to push through it bit of a risky one though they've Drop Banny already, and there's going to be so much spam coming in through this tiny little choke area. They're going to get the spawns up as well of Mike and Thalash, so if the North American side had committed to that one, it probably would have gone pretty badly. You can buy enough time for your spawns to come in, and it's more about the, the uh, defensive advantage of having to funnel the enemy team in through a choke, so. Just set back up again, and now Thalash picking up his trusty Australian sniper there. I, I donated my Australian rocket launcher, actually, to Did the, you? Uh, yeah, so kind to of. the ah. cause, you know, along with um, along with an Australian extinguisher, which I didn't even know I had. I hope it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> I hope someone didn't give me it to, like, sign or something, and I just accidentally gave it away. Hi, Sideshow, can you sign this for me? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Side hey, you go. I never got my uh, golden axe back. What happened I, to I it? would just have to buy another one. I feel so bad about it, I would have to. But now I'm going to get a load of requests like, 
What happened to my Australian yeah, matching? Yeah, 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 of course. I will not buy anybody <laughs> Australian matching. Well, show. and if you guys want to be like Sideshow, you can also donate your items to Tip of the Hats 2016, and those will get converted over to cash, so you'll still see those donation amounts go up uh, with the item donations there. Now, I think Ninja Neck accidentally pressed his mouse too there. <laughs> something. I don't know. I don't know why they popped you, but I assume we were just rattling well, on about something. He's feeling bad again. Yeah, maybe. Oh, the yeah. last taken down, Banny. And another. And another. Another one. Another one. We the, they need an answer for the last year on the North American side because it seems like every uh, good thing happening for the Europeans is off the back of him doing something very talented and usually with that sniper rifle in hand. Do three frags. I wouldn't call back having that talented. Well, that's yeah, that's true. That's it's true. It's awareness, you know. It's, Sasha uh, would say that, you know, of all people. <laughs> Oh, Tag and Paddy, though, going down, and there's only two players left alive now from the North American side. Banny versus the World, surely not going to be able to get that one, and it is going to be 3-2 here to Europe with under, what was that, four minutes remaining? <laughs> SMH. <laughs> SMH. Well, it's looking good so far. Not like this, guys. There's a high five. Oh, There's still time. There's still, there's still time I on mean, the clock. North America is. can tie this up. I'm, I'm not believe. used to playing against the time, though, North America. You know, normally you have seven hours to play a match. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do have a, another another oh, game well. after this as well. Yeah, so they, could, they could still, but uh, three oh. three minutes and 20 seconds. This is playing time sniper here. To mid. Yeah, it's Flippy a strat. Feeling good with that sniper. He's going to run into mid, and I'm actually surprised that the North Americans haven't pulled out the crits. It seemed like they were getting their rounds when they were using those crits, but they are just on normal Uber, and Free State will get the first kill, but they do have to worry about the Lash, who hasn't been answered yet. Finally, he's going to get spammed down. Free State's going to take him down. And that'll be two kills. Still continuing to look for those frags are the NA scouts. Mela. Ooh, Free State with that 3K. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. He's really starting to pop things off, but Tag as well with the Cowmangler is going to come in, take down Dr. Phil, and Captain there survives on 41 health. Uh, couldn't quite find Raymond, who was a little bit further back compared to the rest of his team. There's the gloves of running urgently coming out as well from Thalash. All of the gimmicks going to be able to make his way there really <laughs> quickly to the point, and all the way back in, surely, is going to be able to change class there. Completely negated all of that spam damage, and the suddenly the Froggy Tag push doesn't look as good as it once did. Phil does go down, but Tag, Free State, Mela all falling, and Froyotech and the rest of the uh, odd jobs that have made up this North American side are having to flee. Barney seemed to have given up on that push about uh, 10 seconds prior, but just didn't let his teammates though just walk back, started reloading, doing the bite in lobby there. Uh, EU going to be able to roll forward from their last to take control of the Spire here. But they're already in control of the game. It's 3 2 here. They don't need to do anything. Park about a bus. <laughs> 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 Who allowed these rules? I mean, what was that heavy running? All those different weapons. I'm not sure I agree with the whitelist, and I certainly don't agree with that kill spree from the Europeans there with only one minute and 40 seconds left. We do see European retake control of the central cap, and surely that is not where the North Americans want to be. Uh, they will have Uber, but they're going to have to contend with the EU Uber as well, and as I mentioned, the time is Ooh. running down Whoa. to the wire. Soldier's going to come in, and this is going to be very, very bad for North Americans as they do not have the bodies, and especially now that Patty and Freeze, they both go down. They're throwing here is North America. With only a minute left, they have to turn this around instantly. They really just have to win the fight here, the Uber view Uber trade. If Captain goes down, that would be a helpful start with Thalash as well, but they've lost both of their soldiers. The scouts are going to get spawns by the time this Uber fades, though, which is the silver lining to this disastrous situation for North America. Banny it needs to hit some pipes here or something, though, as the point is being pressured as well. But here come Bad, uh, Paddy and Free State, surely going to be able to get a load of kills after Banny did a lot of damage just at the end of that Uber. Free State. Oh, that was a risky one. Almost ran into the second Ubersaw there from Raymond. But now it has to be the pressure mounting for uh, North America. They have to storm this one all the way through. They only have just over 30 seconds to take this one to a golden cap. I believe, I think they can do it here. Banny's going to jump forward, try and take control of that high ground. Being contested by the scout, but EU just started to back off here. They're trying to play that clock. They want to make sure they don't get wiped here because that's the easiest way Thalash for them to... on the oh, back really cap done. again. Oh, no. Is this oh, really going to It's unreal. done again. Oh. <laughs> unreal. Where is he hiding? <laughs> How does he How do is this? He I'm leaving. He's incredible. I, I can't even. I'm leaving. Who oh, even oh, is the last? What? Oh, my God. This kid. Just the easiest game of Europe's life. There, there are no emotes to express what I feel. Not like we don't this. have a gimmick like emote. Actually, feels good, do we? man. 
No, it feels bad, man. <laughs> and not like this. I can't even believe it. With like five and seconds left face. on the clock, too. What a guy. I marvel. Put it up that. It's rude, guys. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's just rude. But it's off of the back of EU gimmicks. That's what it, really it is. Was. How many rounds did... Was, was that all of the yeah, rounds? I was like... Every, every, every I think round, it might I feel literally like. Every round, they, every round. Uh, no, Two three rounds? of the rounds, they it was won, three, I believe. I, I want to see Europe take North America head to they head. They won one fight, <laughs> you know? they won one team fight. I mean, that last defense that you saw from North America round. at the very end was really solid. It was, yeah, yeah. That's why we uh, bait you in, you know? We're tricking you around, making you think we go this way, we go that way. We're the Muhammad Ali of... Uh, uh, Muhammad Ali. Ali. <laughs> We're not going to fight you where you're strongest. Move like we've like seen you can hold yeah. last. We're going to just cool. Well, uh, that wraps up the first map there for the NA versus EU show match. We're going to take a break real quick, and then we'll be right back with the second map. Snake water. Well, that was a quick break. Welcome back to Tip of the Hats 2016. Big shout out to our sponsors, Marketplace.tf and also Twitch. Yeah, Twitch as well, who sponsored this event and uh, obviously live streaming through them at the moment. So if you're watching, that's through the power of Twitch. What yeah. is Twitch? What ah. is? <laughs> what is Twitch? What is Tip of the Hats? <laughs> well, of course, you know, the Twitch platform is so amazing because um, not only this event, but allows so many events that gamers put on to um, contribute to great causes. But if only we had somebody who could tell us more about Twitch. Admirable, do you um, work at Twitch? Admirable, maybe you could tell us more about it. Well, I mean, Twitch, I can't imagine this event or, you know, esports in general without Twitch. Twitch is esports. Twitch is, you know, the PC master race. I know they're available on consoles too, sorry. <laughs> but uh, they have uh, stepped up again this year to support Tip of the Hats. And uh, if you subscribe, I believe all the revenue goes straight right. to the charity as well. So, you know, my hat off to you, Slim, Twitch. Do you, do you have anything to say about uh, 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 I love Twitch. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. I, I do not have to say that, but I definitely <laughs> love Twitch. <laughs> That's uh, what's going through. Yeah, side. and big thank you to all of us, our sponsors. It's been amazing events thus far, so uh, really want to thank you guys for, uh, again, supporting Tip of the Hats. It's a great uh, cause for One Step Camp. If you guys want to donate or support, uh, definitely. <laughs> I see not Steven donating $104. Uh, thank you guys for all your support thus far. $53,000 is how much we've raised, and we're only on the first day of three days. Uh, that seems event. pretty amazing. It's incredible. Like that that yeah. seems faster than the other years. Yeah, about. it's lightning speed. Yeah, yeah. rapid. Yeah. I mean, the first year was like $20,000. The second year was like thirty. so we were way, way past that. Yeah, um, it's already. just incredible how the, the support grows, you know. People, more people hear about it, and then they they realize how good it is, and they they tune in, and they're following it, and watching it grow. And like they were saying before, people really do kind of uh, save up or, or anticipate the event, yeah. and it, it's yeah. just. I mean, it's really brilliant. become a, a community-wide event. I saw on Reddit uh, today on TF2 at the very top. There's a banner right yeah, going across yeah. the top saying, "Come check out Tip of the Hat." So, uh, really, yeah, it's it's been. And you awesome. know what? It's not just the TF2 community thing. It's a Twitch community thing. Um, and at this point, uh, talking about Twitch, uh, it's just been so great that randomly people will come to the stream. They'll say, hey, what is this about? They can check out all the inf info at the bottom of the screen um, and really get on board because it's a cause that speaks to everybody. We saw that great intro uh, leading up to the stream. And, and yeah. really, when you're talking about helping children who are going through the rough time of de dealing with childhood cancer, um, an event like this that can go to rehabilitate their spirit uh, that is a great cause that everyone can get behind. So it's a it's a TF2 community thing. It's a Twitch community thing, but it's it's bigger than that too. Yeah. It's, a, it's a species community thing. I think so. a lot of people don't know this, but uh, Tip of the Hat is actually one of the top ten charity events on Twitch. Uh, last really? year, we raised over two hundred thousand uh, dollars 
uh, in that year alone. So I think it's an amazing event. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it all it, it's all you guys at home. So yeah. all your support. Uh, we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Of course, you know, one of the things I think that's really helping us uh, this year is that for the first time you can donate items. We've had a lot of people in the past say, well, I can't donate monetary or, or, or via money because maybe I don't have the funds, but I do have the TF2 items. Guys, if you click on the donate uh, button, you can go – you have two options. You can either donate money or you can donate your in-game items, which will be converted straight to cash, which go straight to the uh, Children Oncology Services uh, and the One Step Camp. So big, big thank you to Marketplace.tf for allowing that to happen. Yeah, definitely. So let's head back into our second map. We have North America versus EU, the show match for 6v6. Europe took the first map 4-2, to two, uh, and it, it, was, it, was close. it was closer than the score would suggest. Was it? It was 3 1 NA <laughs> or 2 1 NA in real uh, rounds. We took the first it? round. Yeah, that's the important that's, that's, part. Yeah. That's true. In real rounds, it was 2 1 <laughs> NA. NA uh, strikes first. Yeah. That's, the, that's the important. Let's see if they strike first again here. You know, I, I feel like we have to mention as well that this will go to three maps even when Europe wins this one. <laughs> <So>. that, <laughs> is, that is not true. <laughs> no, <don't> America, <laughs> America, Canada. <laughs> Mexico, we're going to force it to the third map yeah. based off we're winning gonna this you one. A third we're we're going to get there yeah. the right way. We don't want to win 2-0. We want to win 3-0. We're going to just, just <laughs> slam you, nerds. It's going to oh, be complete you imagine? annihilation. Well, it looks like we've substituted our medic out. It uh, looks like Ninja Nick, who was in there before, is going to be swapped cut. out for... <laughs> I would say cut. <laughs> Nick's get great, out of here, But we got scrub. Mercy <laughs> in there now, and she <laughs> is going to hopefully carry our team to victory. Yeah, uh, hopefully uh, Nursey maybe maybe playing the game a little bit more. And Ninja Nick has. Yeah, in I think Nurse was one of the best medics of uh, tw of season 22. Right. Yeah. So she really is very good. Yeah. Uh, I think the most important thing as well is that she appears to actually be playing for North America as well. Whereas Ninja yeah. Nick, I think, has some like uh, previous family origins that make him really root for Europe, and that's why he was just throwing the game. He was throwing. He was walking <laughs> into body shots, walking into head shots, telling all six of his team to come in one place. So popping that Uber when he didn't need yeah. to. Um, <laughs> it was nonsense. The other thing to note about North America's team is that we are team stream because every one of these guys has a, a stream, and they've been you know broadcasting their TF2 uh, where, gameplay. Where do they so broadcast? On is that on the uh, Hitbox? Um, <laughs> definitely, definitely not. <laughs> For, uh, for the <laughs> European team, not many of those guys are streamers, you know, They're, they just the exist to the frag. The internet isn't as good over there in Europe, and that's why that they have it on a North American They server. exist the back half, actually, not the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's their sole purpose in life, but we do see we are going to get underway here. Can the North Americans bring it back, back, get themselves a map, and take this to a third map and um, you're the right way? Objectifying rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> Featuring open Mike Eagle. <laughs> Mike is up top at the moment, actually. But he's 1 HP. Is he really going to survive there? 19 takes an arrow back up to 112. And he is actually going to survive. So no casualties just yet. But everybody from the European side so weak. And they've taken a lot of damage there. Mainly is actually a first casualty, though. As Paddy comes in, is he going to be able to convert some of that damage into kills onto the scoreboard? But no, it's both of the soldiers down. And now Paddy gets crushed as well. How did that go so wrong there for North America after they did so much damage and had all the position? You know, what I think it is, is that since North America took the first round last time and they lost the map, yeah. they got to give the first Genius. round to Europe and then they'll take the map. You know, I'm actually worried about the North Americans going into Snakewater here because I saw a lot of production out of the scouts on the North American side, but Snakewater middle, it relies heavily on what your soldiers do, what your demo man does on middle to, to set the table for your scouts there. And I didn't see any production out of those classes for the North American side here. So off the back of that, we do see NA is back on their last European running the train. In the last map, they parked the bus. Now they're on the train. They have the Uber. They are going to pop it, and they have a heavy to deal with, but they are red and shiny. That should be no problem whatsoever. Dr. Phil takes down Free State. Mikey's going to eliminate himself. He's going to make it a little bit easier for North America here, uh, but will that be enough for NA to hold on? Yeah, I mean, of course, you guys can donate cash and items, but Mike's going to donate his life here to try and make this game a little bit more interesting. Come on, NA. We're giving you a lifeline here. And they do seem to have grasped it firmly with both hands. EU having to back out here, not going to be able to seal the deal here in round one. Uh, seven minutes played so far. That was quick. Is that this was, time that right? Was, that was really quick. <laughs> 
I think yeah. uh, maybe there's been some alteration time to the flies time here. When you're know? having fun, James. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what, that's it, what it is. is. We're having a great time. You know, is that someone going for the back up again? I, I'm sure I just saw a European player diving behind there. No, maybe not, actually. I think I'm just seeing things. Well, 50% or maybe of the I'm time, you'll be hopeful. right with that prediction. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they either are, aren't they? But they have the Uber advantage now because they managed to force it out of Mercy as they came out onto second. So Havigul's going to lead this one back in over the grass area. But Thalash, his scout partner, has fallen. And they're just slowly making room. Mike's putting out as much damage as he can up top. But there is a back cap that's begun from one of the scouts. I think that's Paddy, in fact, who's on the back lines. No, that was Free State, who has been taken down. And he has fallen. So there is no back cap potential. They can't quite do it the same way that Europe can. And. Dr. Phil ensures that they take control of second there. That's because North America isn't very good at EU gimmicks. Yeah. <laughs> They're called EU gimmicks for a reason. That's right. Yeah. Just rolling in here. Not even having to pop off that Uber charge here. Remon, Remon is going to, though, just going to make sure they farm as many frags as possible here from the North Americans. Uh, counter pop does come off there, though, from Nursey. Looks like Eddie are going to hold on yet again, and the EU are just back to the drawing board once more. He took a long time with that push. Uh, the Europeans, really the heavy, gummed up the works there. They had to uh, relegate a lot of resources to take him down. Dr. Phil does take down Banny, so that should help them out as they try to hold and then hold on to second. So that's really bad news from North America, because coming off of that last hold, they had the momentum to push into second, possibly take it down, but with that first frag, and then Nursey going down as well. Talk about uh, nail in the coffin, so to speak, because now you don't have your medic, you don't have the Uber building, but more importantly, you don't have the heal. So Europeans are going to bomb in. It's going to be Free State and Patty with a double kill to put the North Americans back in the driver's seat of this round. Yeah, Free State and Patty both picking a couple kills. Patty getting a 3k, Free State getting a 2k. It's only Mikey there in upper lobby gets taken down by Mela, and North America is back with these defenses. With a vengeance, absolutely. Free State was so good at I-58, actually. I, I wasn't... Uh, you know, I wasn't expecting too much of him going into it. I didn't realize he was like a, a, a really talented guy. And although his play was spotty at times, when he was on, he was really incredible, actually. So always excited to see play like that coming out from North American scouts. Yeah, and Mela's keeping the ball rolling, too. He's gotten a couple kills, so he's moving his way down the left side. He gets around that trap right on top of Dr. Ooh, Phil, nice and play. he takes him down. That was a solid play. He had the body rocket. He recognized that he did a lot of damage to that demo man. Demo man, of course, a prime target. He decided to commit his life and then got the nice second body rocket on the demo man, eliminating him. Dude, the the uh, Mela, however, does go down, and that will be the second frag because Free State also went down as well. So um, admirable. The, the Europeans do manage to hold on here, and they are actually on their way to middle. Yeah, I mean, Mela was searching long and hard for an air shot there, but couldn't find one and decided just to commit Sudoku rather than. Uh, to continue to bring shame upon his family, <laughs> oh Europe God. moving forward there, but uh, seeming to be just bashing their heads up against a brick wall here. Tag trying to disintegrate more euros. <laughs> Mikey A gets zapped. Uh, Dr. Phil trying to regroup with his combo here, but if you keep giving away these kind of easy frags, it's going to make things uh, pretty simple for North America just to walk forward with these superior numbers. Uh, uber disadvantage right now, though, for NA. They have to be slightly cautious. Raymond's going to pop off. Amelia getting bum rushed there by invulnerable shiny red players. And it seems like any maybe we're slightly unaware of the Uber situation. They've lost two and in danger of losing another here. The Lash wants to push lower, but nobody's gonna back him up. But there we have Hathikul finding that pick onto tag on the flank. This two-man advantage is surely enough. And the, what are the North Americans doing? Freezy is just gonna go in here and make a fool out of the Lash there live on stream. It does eventually go down, but uh, definitely kind of taking the wind out of their sails here and slowing things down for Europe. What well, should have been a slam dunk push. They've still got the Uber advantage though. They managed to pick up Nursey in the previous fight, so they've got 30% here. And if they can avoid getting killed before the Uber actually comes in, they're playing this one really aggressively, really Ooh. risky, but it's actually working out for them so far. Banny may get caught as well. Mike's in, not going to be able to hit that air shot though, as Banny should be able to slink out here. He's pretty healthy and Mike's taking a lot of damage, 15 health knocked into the shed for a moment but captain's going to relieve some of the pressure and they should be able to move forwards but raymond fell in the Ooh, midst of this knocked into the shed that's something i think you're familiar with but, I, am. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a mismanagement however from the north american side because you did see they came in they took the uber out of the hands of the european team but then they all died nursey went down she wasn't able to build uber and that put the uber advantage back in the hands of the europeans 
that is not how you want to play that strategy. You want to go in, take away the Uber, get the Uber advantage yourself, leapfrog it over, come in, and then do what you're doing now, which is getting killed. So in the end, it's going to work out for them as they do manage to get the frags as Tag is going to eliminate Dr. Phil as well. And Froyo, Patty, moving in. It's going to die, actually, right before the push. So that will hurt the North Americans moving into last year. But the question is, Admiral, do the Europeans have enough? And no, they do not. I will answer that question for you. They do not have enough to get that round there. Dude, I know the, the Europeans right have enough. You see, your, your cone of vision is just too small, man. You're talking about one it's round here. <laughs> Europe are uh, just setting up the pieces here. You know, the pieces are in position on the board. The comeback is real. It begins right now here with 17 minutes and 20 seconds left on the clock. More like 17 minutes and 20 seconds for North America to get another round and make it 2-0. Or to get back out. <laughs> no, hopefully not. As time increases, the uh, the likelihood of getting back out also increases. It's the direct. direct. You can create some kind of formula for that, I'm sure. Yes. But it's no see who's actually gone down right at the beginning of this mid to a long range pipe, I can only assume, from Dr. Pill, <laughs> who then follows it up by pumping out a ton of damage into everybody else. And they've picked up five kills on this mid fight. Paddy, the only player left alive, can do nothing against the swarm of Europeans coming in to reclaim North America. That's brutal. <laughs> Hard to watch. I'm like closing my eyes right now. I can't. I can't see that happening. This one's surely going to be an underneath push as well. Half Pill's going to take this Uber. I can only presume as they go in from the bottom. This is a classic crowns push. Obviously, they've got uh, four crowns or four previous crowns players on the team here for the European side. And they are leading it in. Half Pill is being healed up now, and he does have the Uber charge on him as well. Thalash taking a bit of damage, but it's Mr. <laughs> Mr. Phil. Mr. <laughs> Phil who falls, first of all. He's been struck it off. He's no longer a doctor. <laughs> 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 He's been kicked out. <laughs> DNA was He's not a real doctor, anyways. On last he year. was a PhD. <laughs> No, but yeah, we, uh, the heavy coming out from the North Americans do allow them to hold on. But is that a back cap from Thalash? He is on the point. Can anyone get there in time? Oh my god. No, no way. Way. What? what? Really? I'm looking over there at the production staff. They're smiling as well. Like, this is unbelievable. It's I a cannot meme. believe it's this happened. It's already a meme, and now it's even more of a meme. Can they not just leave? We've got Tag and Mela in the building. Can we not just tell one of them to stay on last? <laughs> just when, when your team's pushing out, just one of you stay on last. I just can't believe. And you know it's coming too. Yeah. And he still gets it done. Well, we know it's coming. Clearly, these North American <laughs> players are, are blindsided by it because it happens over and over again. But as Hello. we mentioned, whoa, that's a nice one. That's a yeah. nice little bump. As, uh, Didn't do anything, though. It's utterly useless. <laughs> <laughs> it's a splash. It's a show match. Yeah, yeah it's a show match. <laughs> He's going for the flashy plays. Well, wow. the kills, however, will be going for the European team. And it looks like their DM, their deathmatching on the European side, is much stronger here in Snakewater. And that might go back to what I mentioned before about how the uh, projectile classes over on the NA team are not getting it done. Really, when NA is at their best is when Patty and Free State are going crazy. And they're not able to do that unless their projectile players, the demo men, and their soldiers are getting it done. And so far, I have not seen that. From the pings are just too low for them, is that it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> These are too fast. There's too many roamers on the team. <laughs> they're used to the latency. It's really <laughs> difficult to hit things on land if you're used to latency. I sure. want to see a heavy from them. I want to see a full-time heavy being put on top of Snakewater mid with the gloves are running urgently. <laughs> that is the strat. Or get an engineer up there with a sentry. Oh, mini sentries as well. Absolutely. These guys... Are those allowed now as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're stuck in their old ways, these players. You know, they've been around on the top of the scene for a long time, and that gives you experience, but it also gets you stuck in a rut. It's true. There's no room for creativity. If, however, Free State gets creative with the Sniper, putting a bullet into the head of Thalash. That will give a man advantage to North America, who are now trying to sniff out second, see what the Europeans have in the way of defense here. I believe the Uber was popped as well for North Americans, and it is a bad Uber because off the back of that, all of Europe is going to converge on the NA side. Patty does go down, and now they are going to be forced to take a, a fight with a man down. And if I can count, which yeah, some say yeah, I can. Tag it looks rage like, quit. Yeah, it looks like Tag was like, forget this, there are no spawns for me to, to camp here. I'm out of this. He's just, he's just given the Europeans an easier chance to to have a push here. Because they know that, you know, it, it's one to one. North America can easily take rounds back. Damn it, Tag. Get your get your business together. I think what they're actually trying to do is bait Thalash in and then he'll suddenly get back in the server and he'll be there, ready on last. Waiting. 
And there he goes for the back up again. Oh, and destroys oh. Paddy as well. That's Hafi cool actually, rather than Thalash. And the soldier is still not staying on last. What are they doing here? Is going to be able to take you know, down if he Hafi didn't, cool. If he didn't take a shot at that soldier, maybe not. Be able to get in no, there. you'd think that the communication would be good enough, but maybe not. You know, in the heat of the moment. Uh, looks like they've popped off their Uber here. They're trying to get a force out of Raymond. He has a much better Uber though. And and he's got a high tail at a lower. Can Nursey surf? Oh. He surfs! Oh. Oh. oh, that was so close. That was really well played, actually, but just couldn't squeak away in the last. But the back half in the meantime went oh, down yeah. for NA, so not too shabby. Page out of the European book. Pretty poor example of a back cap, to be honest. But uh, right now, Europe trying to contest your cap is unsure of what to do looking to hit a hero rocket up top there onto that scout but just ends up getting beat into a fight he shouldn't have been in Remon knew it was time to leave and he does tuck tail and head off back to middle there but the lash is still a threat on the flank actually he's dropped down to lower here uh headshots the, the oh scout. no oh looking man for the there's the whole bulk of people there bottom falash i clinched that shot definitely definitely a uh heart in your throat moment there if you're a fan of NA, because the Lash still has room to get picks here. And with his teammates getting kills all around him, he will have even more room. Not getting any value of that sniper, but he doesn't need to. Because his team is getting it done for him. And that is going to force Banny and his medic, Mercy, who's actually in a very bad position, to have to back it out and uh, live to fight another day. One thing I can't applaud the Lash for is how adventurous he is with that sniper. Because he's not afraid to go to it randomly throughout the, the match. And it just throws the North Americans off their game it's a little good bit. good to see. It's good to see the uh, the sniper work its way more um, into a, yeah. a sort is of Is Salasha a member of auto-aim, or is he... Uh, he doesn't use the classic. We went through this before, and I can't really remember who is a part of auto-aim anymore. There's <laughs> oh, an official geez. group somewhere, but um, maybe? Yeah. There's also the unofficial auto-aim group, if you've There seen are actually that. many, yes. <laughs> there are a few. <laughs> There's a don't, don't be scared. auto-aim group. But that one, that, one's, yeah. that one's clever, so that one can... That one can live. <laughs> Salasha was taking a peek on the right now. Focuses his attention on the left hand side. He's been called out here though. So, oh. <laughs> why would you be? <laughs> no respect for Falash there, but just gets a lead lobotomy. <laughs> and uh, we'd see the position here from Nurse. He's just stuck in, stuck into the corner there to avoid those sniper sight lines. But with a man down, Falash could run in here and go for the hero shot. He's looking to go lower, charging up a shot. Doesn't see the outlines that we see. Soldier opportunity missed there, but now gets what? it. Oh, see you later, tag back at the server, but it's sent straight to the spawn queue. How does he get that headshot? So yeah, he, he is yeah. an AA. I just remember. <laughs> yeah, actually. He's an AA. Oh, I just okay, remember. Good. Yeah, he's definitely a member of auto aim. Um, getting it done, but of course the uh, the sort of double edged sword to having a sniper is even though you get those kills, you have to still find room to get in and continue to snowball onto last. And Phil with that, in. yeah, Phil went in. He did take down. Oh, Free State. Captain got Nursey as well. They went in with a double bomb of their pocket and their demo. It's uh, unconventional to say the least. And they might pay for it as well, as Thalash has already gone down. And the rest of North Americans are actually pushing all the way over the top of them. Potential for a back cap for sure here. But uh, I think the supercharge may just be used to clean up everybody on second. They're surely going to get spawns, though, to be able to defend last there. You know what? And I really like that aggression from North America, because recognizing that they lost some players and that their medic was down, they took the fight to the Europeans. And even though they put themselves at risk for a back cap, they made sure that the Uber was used off of last, off of sight, so that they can take a better fight once they have their spawners come in here on last. Manny's going to take one onto Captain, but that is going to even it out. Dr. Phil did take down another, but there is a second kill from Banny onto Half and Cool. And that should give the defense the advantage here. Patty going nice. crazy. He's going to take down two. And only two alive for the Europeans. Finally, North Americans can breathe a little bit. The North Americans are fighters. They're brawlers. Yeah, they like to Dr. Dr. Phil on the back cap. Don't is this it. for real? No. Tag is going to be able to frazzle him to pieces, cook him up, and turn him into dust. That was a close one, though. He just ducked into lower. Whenever uh, Tag was disconnected from the server there, he was actually drawn up a little flow chart. Is my team pushing? <laughs> Expect the back cap. So he's able to follow that <laughs> one through to nice Dr. Phil. And eliminates that there. But here's the Uber being popped off from Kitchen here by North America. Captain launched into the air. Will pay for that Uber pop with his life. But uh, pretty much job done there. They're going to sacrifice a little territory here on middle. But uh, earn themselves a pretty slim Uber advantage here. But the Lash is still playing. Sniper and Mike's decided to play Scout. Of course, we did talk about the ping disadvantage, but some snipers, maybe you could comment on this. 
Blood Siren yeah. do feel that high ping is an advantage. It can be with the way that the game um, predicts, but uh, certainly whatever is happening for the Lash, it is working. Of course, right now they do find themselves backing up into last, but he you can't you can't argue with the results so far that he's had on a sniper. He is getting those headshots, and as I say that, he's gonna land one on tag who does die as a result. The Lash now with that Jurati. Ooh, gross. He's gonna throw it onto that scout, but look at that. His teammate, his teammates are there to support him. Europeans have it locked down. They will be able to push out into middle, but Saisha, when they do it, they're gonna find themselves running right into a blue wall and an Uber. Uh, potentially, but there's two players down already. Free set and Paddy. There's gonna be no scouts there. Dr. Phil bombed in, seeing if he could get onto Nursey, I think, and the Uber charge has been forced out. Raymond's going to continue building his on about 40% there. But I don't think the North Americans are going to be able to get in over grass. This would be a really difficult push against all of the uh, all of the spam power and also Thalash, who's got a fairly decent angle over onto grass. Free State seeing what he can get done, but there's a backhab going on at the same time. Who is that? That's Hafikul in on the backhab. Going to take a 1v2 against both of the soldiers who are here right in the building with us. Are they going to be oh. able to get it? He misses the health kit, actually. Yeah, that was on purpose, you know. He prefers this one. It tastes better. You gimmicks, man. I mean, Thalash, I think he's played more Sniper than any other class in this match. Yeah, I think uh, he off-class something like 20% of the time at I-58, but it wasn't all on Sniper. It was like he takes the utility role on last as well. But it certainly is a lot of the time, you know. Most players don't off-class anywhere near that amount. I mean, it's just like the different sort of approaches here. Like uh, North America, you've got your cookie-cutter roles like Pocket, Roamer. We've got Sniper, Backcapper. <laughs> Uh, now that the Lash is just playing that Perma Sniper, Happy Cool has taken up the mantle of the backhab. Or tried previously, but got shut down. And was deep behind enemy lines there. Paddy, uh, maybe pausing there to. I gave him the BM. A bit of BM, yeah. <laughs> I think that's what's required here because the teams seem very evenly matched on Snake War. Paddy looking for that edge, and Happy Cool, very much a player who loves to BM and uh, loves to trash talk. But the oh, Free State with free that backhab on fourth what? point. An NA backhab? Yeah, and holds off the lash as well, so he can't contest. And Free State's running for the last point. Can the lash hit this headshot? There's a scout there as well. Happy Cool trying to hold that off. Free State's on the point though. Can he get the cap? No, cannot at the end of that. But Patty does trade one for one. We're learning. Yeah, We're adapting. <laughs> <laughs> We've evolved. It's We're taking our roots here. It learns. Well, the blue Uber is on last, but it needs to get kills and it needs to get them now if they want this to be successful. Patty in, he's gonna take down Happy Cool. We're gonna see Tag up in the air, he's gonna find one onto that heavy weapons guy. This is looking good for the North Americans. Continuing the frag here, Tagaron has a sea of red that he can lay rockets into. Will he get another? He does, continuing to get kills. There it is, number two on the board for North America. I can hear the chants in chat for NA. NA. USA. Yeah, five USA. Minutes. Canada too. Canada. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> Mexico. That is number two, gentlemen, for the North Americans. Um, so hopefully they will uh, close there's, it out here. There's only five minutes left here, so it's really getting into crunch time. The, the rate that the rounds have been going so far, there's only going to be one round left in it. So if Europe are able to get it, they might be able to tie it up. Maybe, maybe just squeeze the victory at the end. It's going to come down to this mid-fight. Again, we are on Tagarun. Tagarun, let's see what he can do here. Banny's going to open it up with a kill. And there is Banny with a second, putting the team on his back when he needs to do it. Of course, the Lash did take down a free estate. So some life as Mag Mikey also takes down Tag. So teams do trade out, but with the better positioning from the North Americans team, they will close out the cap on middle. And that is a huge deal, because as you mentioned, the time is winding down here. So being in control of middle allows uh, the North Americans, should they choose to, as the Europeans would say, park the bus. Probably gonna pick up Mike there. He just uh, poked his head out there onto the gantry, but immediately denied. Tag coming back into the fight will be able to support his team here as they roll forward with this one man adv advantage. Banny just uh, taking things very gingerly. Spam those stickies forward, and Free State's gonna run forward and gift a frag to the Europeans. Another one laid down, offered up to the gods of TF2 from Europe here. Uh, Mabla joining him in the spawn queue. And a third tag straight into the fight, straight into the spawn queue once again. <laughs> And the EU, this is what they need, just a, a little bit of a change of fortunes here. Uh, they have still Uber available, they're walking in, Happy Cool trying to control that high ground. The point being played at the same time, North America dropping like flies! I see it! 2-2, it's coming up boys! Here comes the flank oh, as well, man. he's oh, in! 
Thalash. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. Nursi. What a syringe from Nursi. Getting it done there. And I it looked like doom for Nursi. Of course, a great play from that flanking scout. Able to take down the demo man. The the clever jumps from Nursi uh, gave her positioning. And then she landed that excellent syringe. Um, do have a little bit of saving grace for the North Americans, of course, because they do have uber advantage because of that. But, oh no, Sideshow, they are losing points in mass. And they are on their back foot. Uh, they're going back to their typical Thalash on Sniper to close this yeah. out. <clears throat> they have some time to work with, too. They've got a bit of time. Mike goes in for a bit of a sack there, I think. Was just trying to peek in, see if he could get onto Nursi, at least find out where she's positioned herself. Thalash finds the body shot there on the free stage, so that gives him a little bit of room to wiggle in. Back see if he can find another pick. Body shots? <laughs> EU TF2, man. What game are we playing here? If he was really going for the body shots, he'd have the Machina out anyway. So, you know, when Denia pulls out the Machina, you know there's, uh, there's some real gimmicks going to be happening. That weapon is fantastic. Well, that was the awkward situation that we just saw. That even though um, NA had the Uber advantage, they were so back on last, and they lost <laughs> oh that. Oh my time. God! Spawn that camping, they like push. just adding to the list here for European TF2. We well, have no standards. We don't hold ourselves to uh, any of the gentlemen's agreements. We just, we're just playing. We only have one rule. That rule is win at all costs. Well, right now it looks like North America could be the winners. Two minutes left on the clock, and they're a round ahead. But Europe potentially could bring it back here if they can work off of the sniper picks that Slash has been getting. Uber v Uber as well for both teams, and that Uber has only just come up for Raymond, so they might have a change of strategy now. Captain dying. Are they going to go for something odd here? Both of the soldiers die as oh, well. Are they just trying to bait them out into a push? Tags in up behind, but Raymond's had to pop off his Uber. Drops the pocket scout though, and surely Thalash going to die as well. The Lashy down, both scouts here out of the picture for Europe, and tags in onto the flank. Is he going to be able to pick people up here? Trying to get onto Raymond, piling in rockets onto everybody, but still has to reload despite the fact that he has unlimited ammo there. Not going to be able to pile in enough damage. It's Mike got spying. I'm whispering because he's using the spice spell too. The silent stabs. Oh, like this, has a bead onto Nursi. And the Demoman, which will he choose? He chooses the Demoman, and now comes out the pistol. We'll try to finish it off. It's just gravy at this point. If he can get anyone else, but he isn't able to get it. Does take down that Demoman, not of course. The Lash the, is hiding too. Uh, come oh. on, guys. Can we, can, we, can we call Europe and tell them to enough with the gimmicks? Like, we just want North America to get this map here and then have a decider. Uh, what is the next map, by the way? Gully wash. Gully wash. Gully wash. Gully wash. Gully wash. Gully wash. And of course, the Europeans destroyed North America at IPA <laughs> on Gully wash. <laughs> Enough of that. Blue Uber. Nursey, dying as low as 30 health there, is going to crack the whip and create the troops underneath. But again, they don't need to push, but they want to. They want to just uh, rub some salt into the wound here of Europe of Dr. Pill as they're delivering a dose to Paddy. The backstab from oh Mike on the body. Looks like he, he got the ambassador on headshot onto Tag it's as well. One, but not the frag. Raymond with a kill onto Nursi. This is utter <laughs> carnage. That's so wow. good. But the final score is 2-1 to one in favor of North America. So the overall score in maps, 1-1. One 1-1. To one. One to one. It's almost like it's it was so scripted. We, not scripted. <laughs> we will go to the decider <laughs> on Gully Wash. And all the marbles will be Are decided. Are those back caps scripted too, by the way? Yeah, yeah. And the, we, and we the body the shots and the spawn tag. camping. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look in that particular area. <laughs> because this game is actually... Uh, it's not even live. This is SFM. Pre-recorded <laughs> for the last few days since we arrived here. That's we so just good. strapped Uber Chain and Crunk to a seat, and we're like, "Please, we just need you to make three maps <laughs> that look pretty realistic." That's you so didn't good. think North American players were actually that dumb that they would get back capped you know, three <laughs> times, four times? No, nah, I mean nah. we were learning there. We were getting some back caps too, yeah. so maybe we'll see in the third map that we see more back cap action. It's advanced AI. Mm, is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying bot the lash? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's running around body shotting people. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, thank you guys for joining us on Tip of Hats 2016. We have a third map for you guys in this NA versus EU show match. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. No break. No We're break. Still here. We're back. We're back. <laughs> Amazing. Well, that we should quick. talk about. We should talk about. Uh, Children's Oncology Services, One Step Camp. I mean, all the money that we've been raising here is going to support this charity. And it's a camp for kids with cancer. And they go there, and they don't 
they don't f- remember that they have cancer for a little bit. They just like forget about it being kids for a little bit, and uh, it's a really good cause. Yeah, you know, so much of what you see, and and this, and for a good reason, is um, working towards finding a cure for cancer, which you need. But sometimes left uh, uh, on the side is is how do you uh, help people who are managing and dealing with cancer? Because um, you can't forget about those people. And we had that great intro um, where One Step Camp was on the couch, and they were talking about what they do. Uh, and it is such a great cause because it allows kids to build friendships to be a part of a community, um, to have a bit of, of just normal childhood um, activities inserted into their life when their life is at its most difficult. So it's a great cause. We want to thank everyone at home for donating to that cause. As we mentioned before, there's two ways to donate this year. You can do it via money, or if you only have TF2 items, we will take those items, um, and they will be converted directly to cash uh, thanks to marketplace.tf. Uh, so, again, thanks to everyone who is donating at home uh, for such a, uh, a great yeah. And wonderful cause. And we have a couple other events coming on. We're doing three days of streaming here for you guys. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday from uh, 11 to 11. And today we have a couple other things going on. Uh, after this will be the communities uh, event where we pub and we talk about different communities in TF2. Uh, and after that will be the 1v1 MGE event. And there is a donation incentive for no chairs. Uh, <laughs> that is 6,800 out of 10,000. And then the Sideshow GoPro after that, which is at 4,900 out of 10,000. So... Uh, that's it's, it. Sounds like a lot of money. I don't know where we're gonna get there. Actually, I would love to see Sideshow with a GoPro on his head. Yeah. So almost I, halfway. So we're just about halfway. A little bit over halfway for the uh, for the for the no chairs. So yeah, definitely. It's it, that's monetary do- donations for monetary donations. Yeah. Those, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. For those goals. So definitely get in on that because that'll be fun. I am personally interested to see how these gamers play M- MGE uh, without. A chair. You know, you play without a chair, right, Ads? When you no, actually I play, you, done, you stand yeah, up. Yeah. I had the standing desk for a while, but uh, I picked up a, a leg injury, so I had to <laughs> dismantle it. I don't have one of those like super deluxe standing desks for like sit stand. So oh, yeah. at various times I've had it and then abandoned it. I just can't quite stick with it. But I mean, today, when we, if, when we get this donation incentive, That's right. when, we're going to see uh, who's been skipping leg day or not. You know, are they going to be like hovering <laughs> down on their knees? What? But uh, TLR used to play like that as well. Really? Yeah, I had no idea. Just before, well, I don't, I don't mean used to, as in back in his heyday, like I forty six era. But just recently, he has been. He's been playing all of his games like that. And just before I fifty eight, he's transitioned over to a sitting uh, position mm-hmm. just to prepare for being at land oh, and right. not actually being <laughs> able to stand up. I've got to clarify though that we don't actually have the the no, luxury no, of no, an actual no. standing desk. So it's like going to be people we'll like be hovering. hovering. Right. In fact, I think I'm playing in that and I will have the advantage because <laughs> I'm, I'm closest <laughs> to the desk standing up. Um, so please donate for that as we do see we are on Gully Wash getting ready to bring you guys the next and final matchup yes. between the North American team and the European. And, I, I, you know, I wasn't sure if it was clarified before, but has all of these maps been with a North American ping advantage? Or yeah, was it just yeah. two of them? Yeah, yeah. It was all yes. of them. All of that the, donation. I wanted to give you guys a chance. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> We're nice like that. We also have uh, two of our soldier players in this room, Mela and Tag. And I, every once in a while, I kind of look over there at Mela, and I just see him giggling over there. He's having a, a really good time. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that, that good time can translate into a third map victory for NA. Oh, the moment. We are not biased or rooting for a team. No. No. Am no. I right? We love all the players. Right. Live at the Especially moment. Especially the North American. Yeah, ones. we are live. <laughs> we are live. The, yeah. the HUD needs to be reloaded because the, the, t- the map time has been frozen at zero there, but the, the game has definitely begun. And it seems like North America have taken the first medal, but they've lost two players uh, right at the death of the fight. Now they've been. Uh, Forced almost to oh, pop up the to buy time. Happy cool Wrangler? on NG. No, not with the Wrangler, with the Gunslinger. So he's building those uh, tiny little mini sentries up. They've got the mini sentries and the sniper going on there. And just with a quick HUD reload there, you can see that they've played a minute and a half. And it's just been the North American team who've taken control of the mid-fight. At the beginning of the fight, nice air sticky there from Bunny. Is he going to be able to Ooh. finish it off? Yeah, he is. Back to his glory days on Demoman. Glimpses of it at the very least. That's a trend, by the way, for all the demo man players. They're using the iron bomber these days. Mm. Is that what do you think the reason behind that is? I mean, it's got a sm- slightly smaller explosion radius, but it sticks to the ground when it, right. when it lands, so it doesn't bounce around. It's more predictable where you're gonna throw it. Yeah, you'd be more precise with it. Mm-hmm. Talking about precision, do have the lash here on the sniper class, looking to recapture some of the magic he had in the first round, where European the Europeans did get their first and only victory so far of this uh, of this event. But flash. 
with the charge, taking it for a walk. And Happy Cool running an engineer on middle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got Amazing. Captain on Skite as well. You got double off classers here. I, I think the idea is just to put as many scouts or hit scan based things on the field <laughs> as humanly possible with that with the high ping. So the ping can't the, be that bad. I don't think it'll be that bad. It'll just be just over a hundred, but I you know, every little helps. Yeah, this is such a thing for a European city because they're gonna run a, an auto aiming Sentry gun, right? You have your auto-aiming player yeah. uh, in the last, and then you have your auto-aiming sentry gun right next to the big door. So that's a lot of hacks for the Europeans. Maybe we can get them disbarred, banned right away. <laughs> NA wins by default. No chance of a back out for Europeans, but uh, chance for a headshot still. That's the last. Still looking for it, but NA playing a little bit smarter this time. They are not going to... Well, are they? Are they going to give him the peak? Yeah, Scout did. Is he building a teleporter as well? Uh, Happy Cool's building it everything at the moment. <laughs> you know, he's got a dispenser up. He's building a shed. <laughs> oh, oh, what? Mike bombed in there off camera, and I just heard the drop as Nursey dies. That Uber taken out of the situation, unable to pop that one off. And that's a huge Uber advantage for Raymond and the rest of the European squad. <laughs> and they're not pushing. No, they're not. <laughs> they're just going to chill back push? on middle. How can you push with a sniper set up over there? But of course, their, their soldier engineer. who went down will spawn right back up because he has the teleporter to get right back to the front oh, line. So <laughs> this is genius. Now they're going to go in for the push. But of course, Benny. Oh, the body shot's coming in hot. Yeah, the body shot. Captain trades for Paddy. They still have this full Uber advantage. They've got to go for it, surely. Thalash up in the air, getting peppered, is going to go down. <laughs> to free state, but here comes the Uber charge as well. Up top, led by Mike, I think that is. Yeah, it's not happy cool because he's still on Engineer. And now Mela trying to come in up top. Got that aerial advantage. He's got the height, but doesn't quite have the damage to be able to pump it out into all the rest of these players. Happy cool has gone down, but I think he's probably just going to stay on NG, to be honest. Yeah, man. Uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, this is like uh, StarCraft 2 tearing the siege and unsee just to move forward with these mini sentries. Uh, action coming in. From lower there, Mike tried to get in behind onto the combo. They're just throwing bodies here at the North Americans, seeing if they can get that med pick. They seem to be very aware that Nursi has the uber advantage and uh, is about to get her charged. They're going to be pushing out momentarily. Free State's already well ahead of the rest of his team here in Europe. We're going to give him maximum respect as all of North America make their way forward. They are totally unperturbed by the thought of a backcap, it seems. They get moving now. They do have an uber advantage to work with, but it is about to fall beneath the 10% window here. And yeah, they are not going to have an advantage anymore. Took it a little bit too slow, but that's kind of how you have to work it on Gully Wash. As you can see, the Europeans are dug in. Of course, they are still working with that engineer on middle. So once the North Americans do make their way to middle, if they ever get a chance, they're going to have to sniff out that sentry. But what is this? What two is going on? At last? Two players on last going in for a, a back submarine sort of play here, forcing North American teammates and members to try to sniff them out. And they're working as a team, moving in through River. Now in the high area, the scout's going to get sandwiched, but Free State is going to get that kill. What? Off carry gets both. My Free goodness, State. Free State locking down the flank. Once you have the flank, you can secure the high ground. Then and you the can universe. push it. And, yeah, and the, the idea was solid though. I like it. they see some players in the flank and they got the sentry gun set up on middle, but Free State outplayed them there as the Ubers are exchanged on middle. Raymond with a slightly better one, and Dr. Phil is trying his best to pill down Nursey, but cannot get the frag. No joy there for Dr. Phil. Uh, and I mean, I think Flash really dropped the ball there. He kind of missed his first shot on the Free State back when they were up top. And uh, Mike thought he had his back, but he didn't. It all fell apart from there, and now it's. Uh, Europe who are scuttling back to last year, trying to recompose themselves, but North America are showing them no mercy here. It's still nil-nil, uh, but we have only played about six minutes, so really anyone's game here on CP Resident Sleeper, I mean Gully Wash. <laughs> <laughs> Tag has switched back to the regular rocket launcher as well. I wonder what he was not liking about that cow mangler. Maybe it's just the fact that he has an unusual, I think, which I think he does. It doesn't work against sentry guns. It oh, only does 20% damage yeah. in the sentry. So, yeah, I'm not understanding this uh, deep meta play that's currently going on. So Haffy running the gunslinger to counter Tag on the cow mangler, and then now he switched back to rocket launcher. Haffy's back to scout. This is. D this is deep. Strat, is. counter strat yeah. coming out from these teams. Good to see a little bit of life and energy back in TF2 here. What? Uh, How is he allowed to get the Lash just charging head forward at Banny and gets the one for one trade there? This guy's fearless. Yeah, buff demo, man. That's, how does that happen? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, we do see North Americans um, without Uber advantage. In fact, at a Uber deficit in mass here. Still holding the gates, still holding back Europe, the European team on their last, but with that kill, with Tag going down, that will surely cue 
you, the EU to push out. Looks like they want to come in from the high ground. They do maintain oh, control. Is there a backup coming in from North America? That would just be so lovely to see. I saw Free State just going in lower, lower, but it seems like he's, he's died there. The Lash did chase him down to last, I guess. Uh, but North America going to sacrifice their hold on CP4. They're not looking to set up something in the middle, but the doors have already been kicked in here by Europe. They're going to send the Lash forward with the remaining drags of this Uber charge, but he's not going to continue to push. They could have gone there. They were all flashed, shiny, and vulnerable, but they decided just to cut their losses. It wasn't even a loss. I'm so confused right Very now. Very scared play <laughs> by Thalash. He didn't want to do anything with that. He got the fear halfway through. Oh, but here comes Nursey back in with that Uber to try and make something happen here on middle. Free State leading the way, getting the Devil Man killed. And now they're going to try and capture it now. As a soldier comes in, that's Mikey going down. And Froyo Tech have a... Uh, the Froyo players, I should say, have g gained a three-man advantage. This is actually the new roster for Froyo Tech. I don't know whether you realize, Slyn, but that, that's what they're doing oh, yeah, this season. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> they're just trialing it out. And if they win, then they have basically already won a world championship. So they're just going to run with it. <laughs> We gotta get a victory somewhere. Well, no victory in that team fight because Nursey's the only one left alive and currently being chased down by Dr. Phil as well. Got around a corner, I think. He's gonna be able to chase that one down on four health. Finds the kill and down goes the Medic and the Uber advantage or Uber at all for North America. But now they're trying to face this fight without any heals and against the full Uber from Raymond. This one's gonna be sticky for them. Again, it's still nil-nil so far, so this is a great opportunity for the European side to get a really early lead on Gullywash. They get the kill as well, which will open it up for them as they continue to move in and get ready to come in through lower. On to last, pushing right in through main. Here's their opportunity. They do have some stickies to contend with, so they popped Uber early, but now they need to find the frags. Can they get it going? Looks like we're now Dr. Phil sticking himself off the point, and the scout's going to join him, and just like that, they don't need the frags when they have territory control. Very heads up play from Dr. Phil and that scout and the European team is on the board first in this third and final map. Do you know what I have to say, Blitzheim? Yes. GG, easy. <laughs> That's the first time the European team... It's past my bedtime. <laughs> That's what I have to say. <laughs> um, but anyway. Both of these demo men able to roll out. Oh, oh my God! Destroys Banny there. MG that Mike. was fantastic stuff from him. A great pipe as well from Dr. Phil to take down Mailer from long range. Hafikul's got the wrong end of a scattergun shoved into his face though. And Captain's been taken down as well. Are they going to be able to rescue this one? It looks like it. With only three players left alive from the European side, and they're all fairly weak as well. Tag's been chased down, but Thalash actually dies there on the chase. And it is going to be North America who are able to take control of the mid, despite some awesome play from uh, individuals on the European side at the beginning. Yeah, and they push back a little bit. You know, they just lost one. They, they know with these longer rounds that they need to make every mid fight count. Um, and they do it there. They, they put themselves in control of this round so far. But admirable, it all depends on what happens next. Yeah, I mean, uh, NA showing some control here. Paddy with disciplined uh, cleanup play there on middle putting them in good stead for this next push. And North America have come through with their combo from Big Door. They have gotten for free by even at the pop off the charge. They found frags that choke at the same time. The Europeans don't know where to look. They're three down right now. Looks like, can Raymond escape? Dr. Phil's gonna get up top, but he's just abandoned his medic here. Uh, left into the fates and Paddy is gonna just put another notch on his scattergun there as Raymond goes down. And Raymond's been playing yeah, really solid. Hunt. He's all over Dr. Phil here. And Mela comes in from behind to get that frag does go down eventually though. They might uh, be going in a little too deep here yeah, as well. They look like they're going all the way in. Banny's actually on the point though, though, and he got a lot of cap time off Free State if he was able to pump in a little bit more damage. Banny is still alive somewhere on last, <laughs> being chased around underneath, dodging these rockets all over the place. But as Mike comes down the other side, they're going to pincer him and both of the soldiers required, along with most of the rest of the team, to take down the single player of Banny there. And he bought a lot of time for the rest of his team to back out, so they're still going to be able to hold on top on second, and they have a big uber advantage. Both players, both of those soldiers, though, going down for Europe. Is this going to be the push all the way into last? Dr. Phil, he's got himself in a really <laughs> horrible situation there. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> well, the stars are beginning to align for NA. They do have some picks, followed by the Uber being up, and that will be the cap as well. So the EU answer first, but the NA respond and respond quickly, Slyn.
Yeah, is it EU or more like EU? EU. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah, nah, nah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. In number three. Oh, North America are bringing it back and uh, see if they can take another round and get back to that 2 1 lead that we saw in the last map. See if Banny gets obliterated straight off the bat. He is going to be able to survive a little bit longer. He'll be able to put out some big damage. I saw soldiers collide in midair there and trade rockets. And Banny takes a pipe over the top from Dr. Phil. The health looking pretty bad here for Europe again at the beginning of a mid fight. Are they going to be able to back out with all the rest of their players though? It looks like it. No casualties on that mid actually. There was so much damage that came out though. They gave all the position there to North America. And they're going to co take control of the, the mid, which gives them all of the position in the beginning of this round. They can begin to prod over a big door, see if they can send somebody behind. And that's exactly where Free State has gone. Trying to jump up there with his winger does eventually land it. Can he see the, the pixel, the head of that Did scout there? Did they back there? He seems to be undetected. I think someone shot at him at some point. Yeah, somebody's gone back to try and deal with him, but it looks like he's bossing them around, mm. just molding Mike like putty in his hands, throwing him down Riverside. Slams his body into the dust, and now he's in a 1v1 against the scout Ooh. as well. Wins that one against Dalash. Big stuff from Free State here. Carrying his team on his back in this engagement. Is he going to win this 1v1 as well? He's done so much damage there, actually. Paddy takes down Captain as Free State is still a full health. That's that North American deathmatch ability right there. Free State, so strong from him. And now we see NA pushing in the through. Lower here, Tag is going to take down Raymond. And oh no, oh. looking quite bad for the EU here. Is this will definitely go for North America? <laughs> Count it on the board, Let's gentlemen. Go. That is a second round. Let's go. For NA. Woo. Let me see. Let me see those NAs in chat. We're coming up to the halfway point here. Still plenty of time for the Europeans to get back in this game. I mean, mm -hmm. I think Dr. Phil might have been self-medicating there. He seemed to have been having <laughs> some sort of mental episode in that <laughs> previous round. But hopefully, you know, the effects are wearing off. He can recompose himself as he goes here on to mid fight number four, but it's Banny getting the love from our cameraman. He's trying to spam there on the, the lower left-hand side, expecting an EU push, but it's gonna be Thalash finding that frag onto Mela first that sets things in motion here for Europe. But the response is immediate as Mike and Phil both go down. Banny's just been sitting back here, soaking up the pressure, allowing his teammates to find these openings and find the frags. Hafikul committed deep onto the point here, starts to walk backwards with Raymond. They've looked at the scoreboard, they realize the numbers just aren't in their favor. And they are going to just capitulate here and get back towards that lobby. Just about making it in before Tag jumps forward. Happy. Tag was on the chase there Ooh. for a moment, but got him down to 20 health. Needed that arrow from Nursey. Thankfully, it came in. Otherwise, that would have been a dead soldier in lower lobby. Great rocket, so to take down Mike. Mike just munching a bit of damage. And they're not going to be able to get the Uber in time, I don't think, to be able to contest this one. Going to have to go back to last and set something up. North America in the driver's seat once more. Have also got themselves a pick, a second pick to work with here. Of course, the first one did spawn up here. And Thalash on Sniper are trying to find some magic in a bottle here. Will it happen? Does have a soldier in his sights? Not able to connect with that kill. So he's going to switch over to the best class, the best character in the game. And that's Pyro. Uber actually got forced out there. Tag bombed in. Uh, Raymond surfed across the scout came in and Raymond had to pop there. So nice. huge advantage here for North America. Things just keep going their way. It must be this ping advantage. Oh man, they're looking so good right now. May like already getting into oh, water. Oh, as well as the last with the reflect kill onto Free State. Bunny feeding that one in. Hate to see it, love to see it at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> the original Pipro here with us on the, the couch. How did Mela not find that kill as well? Happy call just styling on people at the moment. Takes down Mela and then Paddy in that tiny little confined area behind the point. Just really making sure that the environment played in his favor there. He's dodging and duking all around the back of this one. Can Free State do exactly the same? He's got the heals on him, pounding damage there into Mike, who's only on 30 health. 16 now, but looks as if he's going to be able to survive. But the silver lining there is that Nursey got out alive when Raymond went down, so she's going to have a 60% uber advantage in the situation as they try and work their way in through the big door. EU perhaps feeling the pressure. There's still plenty of time to work with here, but of course NA looks like they've really settled into it now. And they are definitely in the driver's seat. All of the kills going their way. Only two alive now. 
You see Captain getting some positioning here, trying to stop the offense from NA. Enough to buy his team some spawn so they can come in and defend. Does a job, does a good job here. Ow. And he will get the Uber to pop as well. So that's a that no, job well around. done from Captain. That was sick from Captain. He does actually go down though. Tag jumps into Riverside, makes sure that they convert that kill. But he bought all of the time for his spawners and Thalash has come in, taken down Nursi. They just have to win this DM fight at the end here, but it looks like North America are getting the better end of it. There's only Mike left alive to try and defend this one along with Thalash and Raymond. They're so weak. And this is gonna be 3-1 to the North American side. This is uh, getting desperate situation here. I'm, I'm sweating. The first I two rounds were a bait. Easy. It was a bait. It was, it was just a, a bluff <laughs> there. Make sure you guys uh, threw this third this map. This is a best of five, right? <laughs> 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 On the bunny cam again, as we head off to middle number five. Is he gonna change his perspective here now that he's got a two round lead? No, still spamming towards that big door, but now Phil's coming up and here we, here we see the European push. Banny's read it though, he's got just a carpet of stickies there waiting for anyone that wants to try and push through that tiny entrance in Europe, have to adjust, recalculate, and try and navigate a different route here across the mid fight. Captain Dodge him up from below, landed some nice crisp rockets, just distracting the combo long enough for the rest of Europe to clean up. They haven't lost a single player yet in this mid fight. What's that word? Momentum? Let's go, Europe! <laughs> no, and I think NA held on just a little bit too long there. When you lose the first body on middle, you have about a, a one-fight window where if it doesn't go your way, you need to back out immediately. Either you get to kill and you can continue to fight at even odds, or you lose a body and then you have to back out. Unfortunately, NA, they were too many people in middle, forcing them to lose too many people on middle. Now you can see they are back and they are on their last. The Europeans, with time to work here, it is feasible that they can tie this up. It certainly believe. is. The fact that they got Nursi out there and they have that Uber to defend last is a huge advantage for them because they can delay the time much further. Free State is actually running the reserve shooter there as well. <laughs> so this could be deadly as it comes in. But it's Mike who finds a pick on the melee. I'm not the really sure damage. why. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure why there was so much spam coming in that Free State wasn't reflecting and why melee wasn't getting <laughs> heals. But OK, that's a pick. Yeah, Free State's doing his best to the Lash Impression right now, playing Pyro on the top left. But that reserve shooter is uh, not really coming into play. It's a pretty powerful weapon, though. We'll see if it comes into play when the fight actually happens. But Thalash was caught somewhere over Riverside, I believe. So that really stopped the momentum there from Europe. I I'm not really sure why they didn't just try yeah, and why have didn't the they Uber go engagement yeah, as soon I'm as they picked Mela. I'm trying to think why didn't they go off that pick. What you want on Gullywash is to get a pick and then sniff out some ground and work that either into more pick or a complete round take. Unfortunately, the European team, they did not push in at all. They allowed the uh, teams to equalize. They do have a they do have a window to work with here, and it looks like uh, they might they, no, they might. They're not doing anything. No, they're, they're not even they're, sacking anybody in. Yeah. They're just trying to like slowly work some people in through uh, through the water area. But they do find the direct onto tag. That's going to allow their flank to get in a little bit. Have you call in onto the point? That's going to bait people down. And Thalash is on. Oh, he's actually died as well though. So that's not going to have any effect. Banny reads that one perfectly. And this, uh, this interesting, elaborate, awful strategy <laughs> from the Europeans <laughs> has uh, not yielded any rewards. Yeah, a real lack of cohesion there. Like, just at the moment that Hafi was actually able to play the point, we just briefly saw the combo walking back into lobby. Uh, so no real follow-up there for them. And the clock continues to tick down, only 9 minutes, 15 seconds remaining. Mike is going to go down again. It uh, feels like we've been stuck here for ages, but it's only been two minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this eternal battle here, trying to push out from last. We can just park the bus on last for the North Americans, but Europe with two down, that's surely going to be enough to induce the push. But is this what they want? Is this the, the play they've been looking for? Are they looking to set up the back cap? <laughs> Not likely, because the Lash is up top of Sniper. And I'm Happy worried. Goal. I'm, I'm worried. I don't see anyone in danger of being in back cap area, oh, but no, Happy, happy cool. cool with that kill. Oh, no, no, but, saves the day. Yeah, and they do manage, the North Americans manage to recapture the second point, of course. No back cap at threat there, so they are going to be on their way to middle. And take a look at Free State. Has a bead on the back of the European team. They're going to have to turn around and deal with him. In the meantime, the blue Uber is going to come in through the other entrance. So caught between a rock and a hard place. The vice is tightening around the European team, but the kill with the syringe onto Free State will give them some lives. The Europeans holding on here. Patty's gonna come in. Oh, and Patty Whoa. takes down two. Can he get the third? Going in for the medic. Not able to get it. Now he has to fight a soldier and a great rocket from Captain. It eliminates him. 
finally going to just try and uh, get a grip on this game, try and retreat here, but they've been swarmed through choke. Oh, it's decimation here as the European soldiers bomb through sink there. North America just reduced to piles of flesh there on the floor. It's tough to watch if you're North American, but for me, I love this. <sighs> Beautiful. Let's go, Europe. We're getting back at the game right now. Still a two-round yeah. disadvantage, but eight minutes, seven and seven thirty, in fact, left. We can do it. Loads of time, guys. Yeah, there's actually plenty of time there. I mean, you can get around in the next couple minutes, and then maybe yeah. tied up after the next minute. They'll be aiming to get it around instantly, though, because they have that uber advantage, and it's coming in right now. Captain leading it down onto the point, seeing if they can get this pick onto the soldier. That's Tag, who's hanging around behind Paddy as well, and they're just straight in onto the point. Two to three, starting to bring this one back. And just over seven minutes to tie this one up or possibly use that momentum to come all the way forwards. Well, it's going to be a very interesting middle fight and a very important mid fight. Of course, if you're in A, you do not want to allow the European team to get any sort of momentum and carry it into this round by capping the middle point. So we'll take a look at what Tagaron and the Benny. North American team can do here. Tag looking to go in through the sneaky underpass here. Does see a soldier, but the soldier jumps out of harm's way. In the meantime, <laughs> all the <laughs> kills are going for Europe, and North America is crumbling. Nursey does manage to find a kill, the only kill had <laughs> by NA, but no, it is all European in that, the all tilt. the Europeans in that round, and, and they are they are already on last. They the tilt, lucky. I can feel it. I can feel the tilt as soon as uh, Tag came in there and went down, drop down, <laughs> and there were two things flashed up on the uh, kill feed. And he realized it was over, just bumped his head. He was all over the place. Only Nursey left alive, and she's only on 70% as well as this Uber comes in. If they're able to get onto her in the, within the next five seconds, they only have a very small window to be able to do it. Free State has been pressured down. Nursey on 85% now. But players are dropping all over here for the European side. They couldn't make that Uber advantage work against the defensive Pyro, even though they got the Pyro down. Oh, oh gosh. The gosh. The 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 ham. <laughs> Saved by the ham. Nursey Shank. doing a nice job of dipping and diving as well. And now holding on to that Uber. That's actually monumental for the North Americans because they have the Uber to push out. They can take second without popping this Uber and then have the advantage to take to middle, um, which will still help them because you can see the Europeans aren't near the Uber at all. They're only at 62%. Take a look at Happy Cool though, being a nuisance, being very sneaky in the backfield. I don't think he's been spotted out, but his uh, entry on last there might actually hurt the European team because the fight is happening on middle. Paddy's been unleashed here. It's actually Tag is going to claim that frag on to Mike, stealing it away from his uh, North American scout oh, partner there. Happy kill on the back have drawn back two players here, but what could Europe do in middle? Off the back of this, the lash with the sniper pick on to Mabla. Happy kill here, turning heads on middle. They are kind of obscured by the nipple as well. Europe could be using this distraction, but most of them don't seem to be really committing to this fight. Of course, they do have Delash. He's pretty immobile there. Now Europe are in. Uh, North America trying to regroup their around choke, but they've already committed a few players here. And again, it's the over-eagerness of North America that seems to be their undoing. Europe presented with another golden chance here to gain some momentum. They're going to have to cap middle first, though, and try and deny those forward spawns. But uh, it doesn't look like anyone is going to be up in this next spawn. We have four, three, two, no. So just another free point here for Europe if they push immediately. Oh, they got to go fast. There's only four minutes and 20 seconds left here as the soldiers are bombing into upper two. That's Mikey getting taken down by Banny as Flash is trying to get some headshots from the low ground, but it's just landed body shots. Nothing coming down quite yet. He's actually getting rushed by Free State and Mela picks up the frag as the Uber is forced. And as time does wind down here, I want to throw it to everyone watching at home. We are at 54,840, just about 1,160 away from getting to uh, 5,500 uh, before this ends. So if we could do that, that would be, of course, wonderful. Mela, feeling wonderful, is going to take down the Medic over on the European side, um, securing it even more for the North Americans. Well, with 3-2 the score and three and a half minutes, They've had so many opportunities to get back into this one Europe in this round, and they haven't been able to do it at any point. I'm beginning to lose faith here. Mm. They have to try and get yeah, something started. <laughs> 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 they have to get something going now because Nursey's got that 40% Uber advantage. They've had three opportunities within the last minute, uh, or a couple of minutes actually, to push with Uber advantages and be able to take mid and potentially roll it forwards even further. But 
They beefed every opportunity they've been given. They've managed to find Paddy now, though, and Thalas is going to be able to squeak away with his life. So they've got a pick, even though they've got that big disadvantage. Uber's been forced there by Nursi at the big door. They only get Dr. Phil with it, though, and this push is actually looking pretty bad for them. Somehow, Europeans are turning frags here. Free State at the choke is trying to put the what? hurt in, but cannot get Captain. <laughs> he just whips it. Right. I don't know what he was up to there. Happy Call died in the midst of that. I think it was just before to Free State, but the Europeans are surely heating up now. There's only three players left alive. The spawns are gonna come in though, actually, so if they go forwards, they might end up being a little too far, or they might be able to catch them with this huge Uber advantage that they have. Captain is begging for it. He wants that solo straight into them. Mela falls, Paddy already in the spawn queue. Mike as well is gonna go down, but Tag surely in a position here where he can be picked off and that'll give them an opportunity to go into last. With captured. still, no, they're not going to have the Uber advantage no. for last here, are they? It's no. it's already down into that window where it can't be used. Yeah, it was a strange situation where if European used it to seal the deal on second quicker, they wouldn't have had it pushing into last. But um, holding it for last allowed the North Americans to build up their own Uber. So it will be an Uber versus Uber fight, but oh, North America no. brought a Pyro to the fight, and that is dangerous as he is bouncing everybody, lighting them on fire as well. Mela is going to combine with Nursi to take that half goal. Mela with the rocket air shot. That's going to take down Captain as well. The North Americans holding firm when they need to here. Do collect the two kills, and now they're investigating second. The is there a backup? The no, backup. say it's not so. There's a scout and a oh, scout. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Balash gets it. That's unreal. Oh, my goodness. Rip headphone users. One minute <laughs> and How does 20 that even seconds. Happen? And the North this? Americans allow a back cap. The Bane. They had like three players there uh, as well. There's no like excuse. I think he body blocked Paddy like off the point cap. as well. That was sick. Really I mean, awesome when, stuff. When Europe is, is down and looking out, they go back to the gimmicks, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it works. <laughs> well, you know, they, that, they're going to just... come back here. There's a minute to do this as well. And Tag falls straight off the bat. They've got uh, a Scout really deep in there as well. That's Free State who falls. There's the potential for something to happen here. But both of the Scouts have also died from the European side. Uh -oh. And uh -oh. what's going uh -oh. on? Uh -oh. What's going on? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What is happening here? There's only 40 seconds left. Have they Not just given like up? This. No. What is happening? They're all over the place. <laughs> I, like go, <laughs> I think they all turned on their Mr. Gaming watch impressions. <laughs> <laughs> As um, a, a technical difficulties being experienced. Maybe. Or time. is this scripted? Why? Because we are coming up yeah. on 3 o'clock. Tag is got his foot on the Ethernet cable there. He's uh, trying to interrupt the connection to the server, <laughs> I think. Yeah, that was a that was. Absolutely a tactical DDoS there by the North American players that we've <laughs> well, got in the I'm house. I'm curious what happens um, in the event of a tie. Do, do we just do we shake just hands and go home? I mean, why cap. would they DDoS when Golden they have cap. middle? They had an opportunity here. They're trying to take it in with Uber onto the heavy. That's this not going to be enough time. This has got to go to a Golden Cup, yeah, surely. It's a Golden Cup, right? right? GG! We're looking we've over at our producers GG here. Buttons here. G yeah, we, we've got to get advice. Word in our ear. We need to uh, hello. talk to our hello. event organizers, you know. <laughs> Twitch see what's what happen. would you like to see? Would you like to see this series concluded? Or end in a draw? I mean, if it's a draw, the Europeans win anyway, right? Because you had the ping advantage. I mean, maybe... I can see uh, Europeans, like, spamming in chat right now. We need to double oh, our gimmicks efforts. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we were to see, like, you know, $56,000 in the next... 60 seconds, we consider doing a golden <laughs> cap, guys, you know, maybe. Gotcha. Maybe. I think, I think I'm hearing that we're golden, going to a golden cap. No, 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 no uh, golden cap. So I guess that's the end so of it, then. Europe wins. I'm telling no, you. No, we had Europe the middle at the end of it. We had, we had, we had, we had you mid. You had the ping advantage. If, we, if it's a draw, yeah. we win. I mean, so that's, that's not, that's not our fault we have a ping advantage. But I think if you add up all the team <laughs> fights I mean, is, and tally but, them, North America wins. Because the majority of the European victories were off the back of a, a, a non-fight and more of a... It's not a team fights to win this game. And just get it's rounds. And if you add up all the rounds, we win. That's true. You can't See? argue with that. Of you course, can't. nobody won because it was a tie. You can't <laughs> argue with maths. Yeah, it was a tie then. At the yeah. end it of the was day. it was a good series though. You <laughs> know, you can't expect more than that out of a show match. It was rigged. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was clearly rigged. Scripted. Sean Bud has a script that he's writing <laughs> in the back, and it, and it says DDoS server at end, <laughs> and make sure it ends in a tie. Man, so that that's about as close as it could get though. Uh, the final score is one to one. NA well versus EU. Very, very well done, See you, 2017. Thank yes. you. Th thank you. Well yeah, this played. is great. And uh, thank you guys for joining us on this NA versus, versus EU 6's show match. Next up is the Communities Pub event. We're going to take a break.